Hello everybody, how you doing? Today we're going. I'm going to be making Dad do something he kind of doesn't want to do. Today is going to be the professor is going to be playing Oregon Trail, as you can see from the title of the screen. Are you excited as I am? I'm ecstatic. I can't stand myself. All right, great. All right, step one. Can I do this? Yeah, go ahead and read what it says. One. Wait, stop. Read what it says. Learn about the trail. See the Oregon Top Ten. Turn off sound. Choose management options. End. I don't want to do any of those. I want to do one. Right. Enter. Go ahead. Boop. You may be a banker from Boston, no, carpenter from Ohio, a farmer from Illinois. I'll do the the lesser of all the evils, and I'll take a carpenter from Ohio. Uh, do, real quick, you, you've never played this before, right? No, I've never played this before. Right, do you know what that's all about? Nope. All right, uh, what is the first name of the wagon leader? There you go. All right. First names of the four of the members of your party. Uh, hmm. Dog. Cat. Really? There we go. Um, yes? Yes. Why? Why, yes. You got to type, type it in? All right, 1880. It, it is 1848. You're jumping off the place from, for Oregon is Independence, Missouri. You must decide which month to leave. So, One. I, 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 well, wait, stop. Here's what, here's what it is. Because uh, you, you don't have to ask for us. Okay. Time, it's fine. Here, what that is, is you don't want to leave too early and you don't want to leave too late. Because if you leave too early, then there won't be enough grass for your cattle to graze upon. Mm -hmm. If you leave too late, you're going to get there in the winter. Okay. So, what do you what do you think would be the best time to leave? Mm. Well, I'm gonna go, I'll go with two then. Yeah. April. That's what I did when, when I tested. Before leaving Independence, you should buy equipment and supplies. You have eight hundred dollars in cash, but you don't have to spend it all now. Space bar. There you go. Mass General Store. Yeah, th those are. Uh... I have to have those. Yeah, you have to have. Team those. of oxygen and clothing for both summer and winter. Okay. Plenty of food for the trip, ammunition for your rifles, spare parts for your wagon. Okay. Um, all right. You go. My recommend. You, you, you got to go. Uh, you, you have to. You pretty much have to do all of it because it, it'd be Okay. Which out. item would you like to buy? Right. So well, what are you talking about? One through five, and then there's all. Okay. The, well, six. obviously, I have to have one. Yeah. Enter. Two oxen in the yoke. I recommend at least three yoke. Forty dollars a yoke. All right then. Three. I find it's always best to do a little extra, just two. in case. Uh, two hundred pounds of food for each person in your family. I see you got five people in all. Don't need flour, sugar, bacon, 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 and coffee. Twenty cents a pound. How many pounds of food do you want? Oh. So I, I would recommend two fifty. A thousand. A thousand. You want to buy, you want to buy a thousand pounds of the food? It's just two hundred pounds of food for each person. Ah, oh, okay. So five is one thousand. One, zero, zero, zero. Enter. Hmm. All right, clothing. I guess I misread that when I did the test. Uh, warm clothing, da, 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 two sets of clothes per person. Each set is, so 20 times 5 is 10. All right, we're going for the middle. Ammunitions. You can never have too much ammunition. Very true. Uh, sell, da, 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 20 bullets. Two dollars. How many boxes do you want? Mm, how many things are we gonna kill? Let's go. You'd be surprised. With uh, five. Five boxes for hundred bolts. Yep. There you go. Spare parts. I'd recommend the max of everything. All right. You can have three of each, so I'd recommend just getting three of each. Mm. But you can see, they're not all that expensive. All right. Uh, do, 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 do. Well, then, you're ready to start. Good luck. You have a long, difficult journey ahead of you. All right. Thank you. Independence, April 1st, 18...
48? 48. Uh, I should have started a timer. Uh, why did I buy boxes of cartridges? It's 1848. Yeah. The most common rifle is the cap lock muzzle loader. You didn't, you didn't buy uh, you didn't buy cage, you didn't buy cartridges. You just bought boxes of ammo, which I'm guessing is just you bought boxes of the balls. Oh, okay. Well, I bought balls, powder, and caps. Yep. Okay. There you go. See. All right, weather's cool, health is good, pace is steady, rations are filling. Mm. Check mm. supplies. Why would I want to do that? And that's, uh, you don't really need to do that right now. That'd be something you want to do later on. Oh, there you go. There's the map. The I looked trail. at the map. Yep, there you are. Oh, damn, that's really far. Oregon City. The Dales, Fort Walla Walla. Is that a real place, Fort Walla Walla? Uh -huh. Walla Walla, Washington. Oh, neat. Uh, Blue Mountains, Fort Boise, Boise, Idaho, Hall. There are me. Laramie, huh? Laramie's on the Oregon Trail. What? And Fort Bridger. Hey, we could do the we could do the whole Oregon Trail if we wanted. Not the way we want to, but we, we could. could. All right. Um, why would I want to stop to rest if I'm doing well? Uh, this is just the default thing. Because, like, if so, if one of your party members is sick, then you'll you'll want to rest for a couple days. Okay. So they won't die of dysentery. Uh, in 102 miles from the Kansas date, cool, good. You got a thousand miles, please. 102 miles, miles traveled. All right, go ahead and continue. Sizing up the situation. That just that just means to check on everything you've got. Yeah, I think when I did the test, I did like I misread that's like 200 pounds of food, so whatever, blah blah blah. I was like, yeah, how about a five? I'd be like 500. Would you like to work around? That'd be a great idea. Look at it, look how pretty that is. Oh. Uh, maybe eight. Talk to people. Oh, yeah, you look at the map too. Enter. Yeah, yeah you haven't gotten too far yet. Hmm. Okay. You can talk to some people. Can't afford to take the ferry. We're making our wagon into a boat. We'll turn it over, caulk the bottom and sides with pitch, and use it to float our goods across. Have to swim the animals. Hope it doesn't rain. The river's high enough. That's pretty much that. That's him giving you, telling you that once you, once you're trying to cross the river, you'll have a couple options, and that's one of them. Now, if that's a good option or not, I don't think so. No, that's a stupid. That option. sounds like a terrible idea. It's a terrible idea. All right, go ahead and hit continue, unless you want to check something else. Must cross the river in order to continue. The rivers at this point is currently two six twenty nine feet across and four point nine feet deep in the middle. Oh well, that's easy, easy yeah. day. That's just up to the oxen shoulders. Rivers too deep, you lose. Seven sets of clothing, three wagon tongues, three oxen. Your mouse drowned. No, boop that. <laughs> no, I was gonna. You know, I was gonna. No, boop that. All right, here's 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 the boop that. Yeah. I know what four point nine feet is. Okay, that's just up to the shoulders yeah. of the oxen. But that's not that's not counting them like sinking into the earth. It didn't say sinking into the earth. It didn't they say still, it was a flat mud bottom. They drowned. Why? Because so, they drowned. <laughs> See, I I took the ferry because here here's what it was. When that guy went, the river's deep enough. That means that. You probably shouldn't try and ford it. Now, the next river, unless it changes, I don't think it's randomized, though, uh, is about three feet deep, and I forded that, and I was good. The ferry was only $5. So, well, mouse drowned. Now you, got, you made it to the other side, at least. Oh, so I get to the other side. You just lost a bunch of crap. I just lost one of my children. Yep. Or your wife, you didn't specify who. All right. Oh, well, there we go. Just moving on. Going on down the road. Your health is good. You know, technically speaking, dead people don't have that, aren't of poor health. Uh, yeah, the Blue River Crossing. Would you like to look around? I, I guess. <laughs> this game's name's, game's not going to be boop, gay. I'm going to have to censor this crap. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and check on your supplies. Take a look at what you got. 
Get three oxens left. Got plenty of bullets. You're out of tongues. You lost all your tongues. Wow, hope you don't need any tongues. And you got 280 bucks left. Okay. All right. I would recommend seeing what you can trade, considering how much you just lost. Seven. Nobody wants to trade with you today. Lame. Eat. Boop! Well, screw them. Talk so. Boop! Sorry. Be careful you don't push those animals too hard. Keep them moving, but set them at a fair pace. Can't keep driving them so fast, you'll end up with a lame-footed animals. A lame ox is as good, as a, as good to you as a dead, dead one. So that, that's just saying when you can change your pace. Uh, you can have it on steady, which is you're on now, and then it's like quick and uh, steady. It's like steady something and gruesome. And if you just keep them on gruesome, your oxen will die. You'll lose your oxen. See, that you'll be fine. I'm sure of it. Pretty sure of it. Two is a terrible idea. I, I cannot see that being a good idea. If you drown in this one, I will be shocked. Okay, there you go. Simple. Also, yeah, it was... Ah, oh, your supplies got wet. Lame. Yeah, when, when I floated the river, it was about three feet deep, and, not, and I had no negative repercussions. All right, from the Big Blue River crossing, it is 118 miles to Fort Kearney. Broken wagon tongue. Sure, go ahead and try and repair it. I guess I have to. You were able to repair the wagon tongue. Oh, awesome, because we don't have a spare one, so that's good. Yeah, this is this is definitely could be going worse. Ah, crap. As I said it. Do -do. Wrong trail. How the hell did I lose the wrong? That, How did that I, I lose, said, make go down I, the wrong I trail? Think that's just random. All right. Uh, you want you want to try and attempt to trade? Oh, oh here you go. Stop to rest. That's probably a good idea. All right. You want to attempt to trade now? There's a little house right there, so maybe there's someone nearby. That's Fort Kearney. Damn it. All right. I guess we just continue on the trail until you get to Fort Kearney. How the hell did we catch well, a fire? A fire in the wagon? How was there a fire? Was somebody freaking smoking? Who would be smoking inside the wagon? Can we just get to the damn place or not? Apparently, it's not going to be that easy. There you go. Fort Kearney. American flag. Hey, now, uh, there you go. Buy supplies. The plunge all the crap you just lost. All right. One. You lost two. Yeah, there you go. Uh. I'd say, yeah, I'd say buy like another 50 pounds worth of food, and then get a couple tongues. A couple tongues, and you lost two, both your axles, so... Or two of your axles, so I'd say replenish those. I have two on. You only lost two, yeah, three. Oh yeah, you did lose seven sets of clothing, so... Did I do the axles? No, because it said you'd only buy three. Or you'd only hold three. And I'd say buy like five more dollars worth of food, and then you're good to go. Just say ten. Two pounds. Two hundred? I think that would be too much. Twenty-five cents, you have sixty-five dollars. Okay, well, you're now you're down to five, so. All right, so. Yeah, now's a good time to leave, yeah. All right, you want to talk to somebody? Sure, I want to talk to some annoying Boop! Guy. Let's go. He's going to tell me some shit. The game is still plentiful around here, but getting harder to find. With so many overlanders, I can't expect it to be to last more than a few years. They'll shoot the game for sport, take a small piece, and let the rest of rot in the sun. So that's telling you that What the boop was that? That's some kind of boop. moral lesson or something? No, that's just telling you that um, by leaving when you did... That you'll have that there's going to be game around for you to shoot. If you had left later, then there might not be as much game. Hey, happy birthday to me, May fifth. I'm a 
looking around, is there? Nope, you're looking for... What is that, tree? Tree stump? No, that's Castle Rock. Oh, really? Yeah. How do we get typhoid? The From the air? What the hell is typhoid? It's a, it's a disease. Well, w I don't What know. do I want to do? Nothing? Um, rest. Uh, yeah, I'm going to take a look around. Oh, it's Chimney Rock, not Castle Rock. Go ahead and rest a couple of days, yeah. Two or three days. There you go. Alright. You want to talk to anybody or are you going to keep going? Might as well. I hear terrible stories about wagon parties running out of food before Oregon. The whole party starved to death. We went to check. We, we must check on our supplies often. We might not get there as soon as we think. Always plan for the worst, I say. So that's this. That's Aunt Rebecca saying make sure you don't run out of food. But you're definitely good on food. Is that Laramie? Oh, yeah, we haven't looked at the map lately. Pass a grave site. Would you like to look closer? Sure, why not, since we're here. Here lies Volad. Hey, 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 come out and play. Exciting. That was stupid. <laughs> da, damn you. Of course. No, oh, I, I want to not yeah, repair it. You had the you had the stuff, so I'm sure there's probably a way. Uh, Fort Laramie. Oh, now we're at Fort Laramie. Heck, can yeah, we want to look around? Why wouldn't we want to? Look, Indian engines, engines. May twenty third. Space part to continue. Uh, you want to attempt to trade? Oh, there you go. Check supplies. Yep, you're good. Got plenty of clothing, plenty of food, plenty of bullets. You haven't had to hunt yet. When I tested this out, I had to hunt after like 10 nuts. Um, is there, There's no way to get more money? Uh, I'm not actually sure. Maybe if you trade. Maybe we'll trade like, you know, I'll buy one of your oxen for $100 or whatever. You left. All right, whatever. Boy, I hope this is recording. Yeah. <laughs> I, I haven't. Re I've never recorded for the this long. Thing. Well, that's there's the microphone. Oh, okay. Inadequate grass. Uh, whatever. Didn't say when we rocks and died, so whatever. If you want, next time we stop, you can uh, rest for like two days, and then bump up your pace. Hey, take a look around. Why not? I'd say yeah. two days. Hey, you want to trade or anything? What do I need to trade for? I don't know. Money? I don't think you trade for money. Well, I mean, you can trade. Uh, uh, it's just an idea. All right, uh, you want to go ahead and uh, wait. Hit backspace four. Hit four. Uh, two. You've been steady right now, and grueling, is, I find, is a bad idea because that will kill your ass fast. Yeah. All right, now we'll go ahead and hit one, and we'll continue on the way. Sizing up the situation. Oh, screw you. How do we lose the trail? One of those rocks. Ooh, wild fruit. One of those rocks are going to be something. Probably gonna be something, right? Stop pass. Remember, you, you can say no. I think you should or shouldn't, but I'm just saying you can. More engines. I'd say rest for one day and then. Because if, if you're running your ox harder, then you need to give them a little more rest. I might be completely wrong. I, I, I've never beaten this game or gotten to Oregon or anything. So I'd say uh, that's just a thought. So how are you enjoying Oregon Trail so far? Um, it's, it's okay. 
I don't know why, but just for some reason. Up. Oh. Ooh. Want to see the map? Here we go. Hmm. And what were the options again? Was it Fort Bridger and Soda Springs? Yeah. Hmm. Soda Springs seems like it'd be a, a more straight shot. Yeah, but it's farther to Fort Hall than Bridger. Hmm. We're, we're trying to get over there, so. No, Green River Crossing. Oh, okay. Or, I guess. Yeah, just, I guess, yeah. Lots of people who have beaten this game are like, ah, oh, you frickin' retards. Inadequate grass. Bad water. This is going great. Might as well. Green River, which I took around. I would absolutely recommend taking the ferry. Yeah. Because it says it right there. Ooh. What? You only have five bucks. Yikes. Yeah, I don't think fording this is going to be an option. How much is the ferry? It's going to be like, why don't it be like six dollars? Nope, it's five dollars. Alright, you're broke, but you're also alive. And so, yeah, if you're confident that trading doesn't get you money, then I don't think there's any other way. I don't know. I have no idea. That was loud. Soda Springs, here we come. Come on, grass. Very little water. Bad water. Very little water. It's going great. Yeah, I'd say at this stop is a good time to uh, cut down on your the cut down the pace. Whoa. I, I, um, at the next stop, sure. Or you can do it now. You already paused it. Because with, with, with bad water and no grass, it's going to be harder on the oxen. All right, let's continue on the trail. Where's that again? Is that like Fort it's a Ford? Fort. I know it's a fort. How, how did Cat break her arm? Right in the boop wagon. Maybe she fell out of the wagon. Mm. No, we've we've traveled eleven hundred and sixty nine miles. We need to go twenty one miles. Indians help find food. Oh, that was nice though. Oh, we're down to zero pounds. Oh crap! <laughs> Look around, yeah. You definitely have to try and trade, otherwise, you're out of food. All right. Oh, awesome. Well. Because you slaughter all the oxen. I wonder if that's an option. What? what, what boop! I'm at the fort. Yeah, what the hell is the name we was trained with you? Maybe try again? Maybe that'll work? Because this game seems to have uh, some element of randomness. Nope. Alright, I guess... Where's the hunt for food option? Maybe that's what'll happen when you hit zero and the Indians don't help you. Because when I started hunting, it was just completely random. Like, I, I didn't choose to hunt. It just, I just hunted. All right, I guess just either talk to someone or continue on the trail. Hey, there you go. Stop to rest. That's an idea. Health is fair. Weather is hot. Pace is steady. Resting another day? Mm-hmm. Trying to wait for it to stop being hot. All right, so oh. <laughs> your weather, your health went down. What uh, the poop? That what? That doesn't poop make any sense. Maybe you ran out of food. And now you're hungry, and that's that's why you're poor. Maybe just keep going, and maybe and you'll hit food. Wait, it says your rations are filling. Hmm. I don't know. Well, maybe Wendy's arm isn't getting better, or whatever the freaking animal's name was. Impassable Trail. What the hell does that mean? Hey, we have no food. Very rainy and very poor. Very little water. Bird has cholera. 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 Whatever that says. 
Hunt for food. There you go. Okay, here we go. Re read that very carefully. Enter to start or stop walking. Uh, the arrow keys to point the rifle. Yeah. For novice hunters. Space bar to fire. Okay, this is probably going to be really gay, so. All right. Go up. Now, it's, it's, remember, it's enter to walk forward. Now, right. Come on. Go right. Enter. To walk right. Oh, turn around. Shit. Up. Damn it. Shoot to the ear. The, the squirrel. Damn it. Are you serious? Shoot. Ah. Oh. What kind of a what kind of Mickey Mouse boop and asteroids boop and horse boop is this? The kind that came out in 1984. That's what. Oh, cat has a fever. Wonderful. Well, you don't have. Hey, you do it again. Hunt for food. Okay, you can just keep doing it. Okay, there you go. Down. Shoot the bear. Okay, now down. Okay, now stop. Now just look. Keep your eye out for food. It'll just walk, it'll just walk around. Fire. Damn it. Come on. Freaking rabbits are fast and they're not worth a lot of food, so I don't worry too much about that. At least you got the bear, that'll be worth like 100 pounds. 167 pounds, and we only gave about 100 back to the wagon. So that's 100 pounds, that's not bad at all. You can keep hunting if you want. Yep, you want to continue? How does an ox wander up? At night, I guess. Gets off the little thing and... Oh, that sucks. Hey, you found food! There you go. How much does that add to your uh, total, you think? 16? Oh, wow, 20 pounds of wild fruit. Or fruit. It's not bad at all. Yeah, you can go a couple days without eating. You know, it's good for your health. Fasting engagement. Next landmark is 31 miles. What do you mean, Pat Passport? We can see the river. Seven days? Dog has cholera. Again. Hunt for food. You'll get better at the more you do it. Alright. Although that does make me think, like, do you just need to shoot one big animal since it says you can only carry so much back to the wagon? Is that an antelope? Shoot it. No! Oh, well, ha! Happy accident. Fire. Yeah! Eat. Boop! Alright. I think you're pretty much good, especially if it says you can only carry so much back to the wagon. You can kill more for fun. Oh, you hit the corpses, so... Oh, look at the little face. <laughs> little three-dot face. Oh, that's so much crap. You can, well, you can't make two treks? Apparently not. Ah, whatever. You can hunt for food again, or you can continue on the trail. Uh, you want to rest? All right, there you go. Now the health is very poor. It was very, very poor before. Okay. Just continue on the trail. Very little water, and you're at a river, so you've got plenty of water now, right? You have to cross here. Yeah, you're going to have to ford this or do the pitch thing that that idiot told you to do. Because you, you don't have any money. See that wild river? That's the snake. Many a craft's been swept, swamped in her foaming rapids. Her wagon, her waters travel all the way to Oregon. It will be crossing her soon, and we'll be crossing her soon, and then again after Fort Boise. Take care at that crossing. So that pretty much means that fording is more or less a non-option. And you could try, but there's a very bad chance. A thousand feet across? Yeah. It's a big river, man. Ha'u hiring me. Maybe the Indian would just take some bullets or something. Free. Oh, that's a that's a great deal, especially since one of your children's dead already. So whatever. Woo. There you go. 
He lied and betrayed you. You all die in the river. <laughs> I mean, that wouldn't be impossible. There's no trouble. You had no trouble floating the wagon across the river. From the state crossing is 113 miles to Fort Boise. Alright. Found wired fruit. Sweet. Do, do, do. Come on, you're so close, kind of. Oh, like a fort. Oh, that was a nice thing. And you're crazy. I think you can pause at any time and hunt for more food. Heavy fog. Don't know what that means, but cool. Unless you're going to get attacked, heavy fog doesn't really matter. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. For this boop so crap. random. Yeah, it kind of is. Hey, it's cool. What do you mean to lose one day? What? You can't walk in the fog? Freaking boop. Ah, 14 whatever. bullets. Hey, you're not, you haven't used that many anyway. Uh, sure, why not? Right. Next landmark, zero miles away. Oh, look, the ox is relaxing. Good for him. Alright. Want to do any of this crap, or you just want to continue on? What the hell? This whole time, no one has wanted to yeah, trade. Not a single trade this whole time. Right, I guess just continue. Boop! 160 miles to the Blue Mountains. And I go grass. It sucks. Measles. Awesome. Cat has died. Oh, that's one last mouth to feed, at least. Dog has a snake bite. Don't watch out for snakes, you little bastard. Long trail, lose four days. Dog has died. So it just leaves you and your wife, who is named Bird. bird. I She's guess. A... <laughs> I mean, in Britain, Bird is the is a slang for a woman, so. And now Bird has died, right? No, not yet. Nope, there we go. Starting death will do that to you. Heavy fog, lose one day. Up, oh, up, oh, you have a fever. Ooh, there you go. You can hunt if you want. Oh. Wait. Here we go. There he goes. You wanna write an epitaph? Yes. Watch, watch it just say, transcribe, yes. Y-E-S. Why well, won't it? Hit, hit, type in yes, because you want to write it. There you go. You hit enter. Boop! Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank everybody for joining us for this episode of Professor Plays Oregon Trail. Maybe, maybe I'll force him to do it again. We'll see.